Welcome friends! For some reason my camera's on delay, so <laughs> it takes a second for it to pick up. Um, but it was fun to surprise all of you. Okay, so I was on my Discord, link down in the description, uh, and Chairman Wu and Ghost Chain Experiment, or Lionel Gustafson, as you all might know him, had this genius idea to try to play Shoop twice, to which we then said, well, can we do it three times? And then we said, well, could we do it four times? And then we said, can we do it five times? And theoretically, it's possible. I'm not saying that you should play this deck, to be fair, but I am saying that we're going to do it. Um, okay, so basically the play here is to recycle Shoop's Day Off as many times as possible. Now note that like a seer doesn't give it doomed, a Lisa doesn't give it doomed, uh, and but Renew does give dooms to both of them. So our goal here is basically to play Shoop's Day off. Uh, probably we're just gonna be trying to high roll into like resilience knights and late and like late into rounds. Then we're gonna have some uh, assimilate play for some value. This is the thing that makes Nilfgaard unplayable right now. Is just like, what do you do for freaking bronzes? None of them are good. Like this guy, like, oh, he's nice. But then the opponent's gonna damage him. He's just, you know, fodder for, you know, a net minus three. So he really plays like four for four. Anyway, I, I digress. Um, but we got Mage Assassins in here, mostly to get tutored out. Thonid Turncoat is going to give us some spying. Yeah, oh, she serves no real clear purpose anymore. <laughs> we were going to try to do our Todd with this, but we just, like, ran out of room. So we'll swap her out for a... Dude. Boom. Okay. Uh, we'll take the extra lock. Uh, ointment for points. We just want a couple special cards in here for for cart. Uh, Mage, Duchess Informant, and Emissary are in here for Brothens, who we also got rid of. <laughs> oh, I had this deck all set and ready to go, and then what happens? Fate. Fate is what happened. Uh, we'll go for like a Nausicaa Sergeant. Uh, let's go for. A lock and a simile. Let's go for that one. Slave Hunter's not terrible, so we'll take him. And we'll trim out. I think pretty much everybody else has deploy, so we'll take out the Ducal Guard. Okay, um, Blightmaker to tutor out Mage Assassin, but also because we can get the Cow Carcass if we, uh, if, if we move a special card to the top of our deck, which could be helpful with Tactical Decision to get us Shoop Stay Off if we miss it early in a round. So, that's cool. Um, I mean, we probably could, like, squeeze another Poison in here to try to make that work, but I think it's kind of hit or miss. Uh, Roderick, Cantarella, for Cart, our Witcher Trio, often, uh, and then a Sierra Lisa, and then, oh, and then our, for our fifth shoot, uh, is Aguara True from, oh, we should have Snowdrop in here, huh? I don't think I can fit her. Here, we'll just take out Glynis and downgrade... Slave Hunter. To a Ducal Guard. Although we're not getting that many Assimilate procs anymore. Such fun. Um, to like a Lone Fang. Uh, da 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 da. Tempted to do exactly what I said not to do. Yeah. All right, there we go. Quadruple shuple, uh, and then the in theory, Aguara True Form is gonna get you uh, a random special that could possibly potentially include Shoop Stay Off. You never know. 
I mean, you kind of do statistically now, but we're going to try anyway. <laughs> Oh, like three out of literally 200 specials. You never know. All right. Um, yeah, I still need to buy this expansion. <sighs> oh, we gotta go with more run. No, not Artelip Dahi. Where's more run? Yeah, he has like the best statements. Also, we need to get that one, but I find it uglier than this one anyway, so it's fine. Ooh, I think I have Mahakam in here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. It's almost winter time, so we gotta get that one. So like, so die. I've been doing this one, so we're gonna stick with it. What if I get, it's kind of weird they did Regis and not like Bannard, you know what I mean? Alright, let's do this! Tactical decision with Trio is actually really great too, because you can put them back late in a round. Iced. Hmm? If you haven't checked out my uh, bear's deck, check out my bear's deck. That was, that was like a true Ursine ritual. Total riot. Highly recommend it to anybody. Alright, so we missed the tutor for this guy. Which is kind of a weird position to be in because you kind of want him. I don't want to play Renew with Fricart though, so let's. Keep cycling here. We kept her when we shouldn't have. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, that works. Oh, well, we don't have nearly as many assimilate triggers anymore. So, I think Cantarella is like the best straight up play we can make here. <laughs> oh, yeah, we didn't draw Shoop. Not my best day, if we're being honest with each other. Wow. Absolutely wow. She's four, right? Yeah, I mean... She's kind of a crappy card. Yeah, absolutely useless Cantarella. Pretty trashy Imperial. Oh my gosh, I should have played for cart with it. I'm like really struggling today. Alright, well, I think we put Squirrel back for now. Oh my gosh. Absolute trash. We can't play Roderick till we've done Trio. 
Because, you know. I mean, odds are we'll get somebody else other than it. Uh, it's stressful for all the wrong reasons. Okay, we can put him back, so even if we don't get often with this draw, we can still get often later with Blightmaker. Stupid, but, you know. But first, we're just going to roll the dice, because... I... <laughs> this is like... When you have great dreams for how Gwent is going to go for you that day, and then you actually play it. This is what happens! Okay, well... When you're in this deep, you might as well keep deeping. Okay, we'll put this back, we'll put that back. And... And we don't really need the boy maker anymore, so he can go back to for all I care. Boom. Boom. Alright. Now we can have some fun. And this time we'll get what we want. Ballin! Plus she gets the draw from for card. Look at me go! And we can kill off Lambert and bring him back alive if we want to. I don't know. No one said I had great ideas today. Blightmaker actually does serve a purpose here with uh, Elisa and us here. Ooh, how cruel. I mean, I think we can just pass here. We lose on evens, but we get shoops, so. I mean, we maybe should have played a seer, but we would have been down points and they would have just hard passed. This just ain't it, Chief. I mean, like, I actually feel like we have a reasonably good deck here, just. I apparently can't play it for beans. Okay, we nuke Saris. She's the most value and she forces the tutor, so. I mean, he's pretty trashy, so we can get rid of him this round as well. Why not? Kind of expect a hard pass, but who knows. Squirrel first. Well. Let's go for Elisa. Clara de Lin de La Clara Larissa de Winter. You know, my son really loves watching Curious George, and there is someone named uh, Dr. Chilla de Winter, and every time I hear that <laughs> her say that name, it reminds me of Curious George. So, notably, we can actually use a seer here to put back... Um... Come on! Seriously? Such bad freaking luck today. Uh, we can use a seer to put back a Lambert if we want to here. Um, Probably should have done the Nazca Sergeant first since he'd have to set that up anyway, but I don't want the Lippy coming down immediately. I'm expecting a blue boy. Should have saved that. Okay, 
Okay, we can top deck Shoop stay, Shoop stay off, and then get it with Snowdrop. Um, but we'll do a, we'll Onero it first, and then we'll do that all over again with this here. So we'll at least get triple Shoop this time. Too bad we missed a Guara to really give it the the old college try. Ooh, Yen Divination, huh? Hyper Thin? A Lippy Hyper Thin deck? That feels weird. Maybe with Champion? Yeah, super strange. Alright, um... One of these is like, draw a card, I think. Yeah. Solid option. This makes me feel powerful. You could also like bring in Purify and just Purify the Shoop. We're gonna lock her because I don't want her constantly going off. Not entirely hopeful. All right, interesting choice. I need not spill blood to make you suffer like never before. Such a nice, nice person. You know, you just—that's like somebody you really wish you would have met. Rain? These half fruits is a weird inclusion in a lippy deck. You don't want to be rooting for bondeds and for your other draws. I don't know it often feels like it plays thin, but it really doesn't. I just don't want to deal with it. Just to get them out. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we got so screwed with that. More shoops. And still, seriously? Sorry, man. Like, it's possible I turned them on somehow? Like, I personally don't mind when people, like, tell me they're about to run an ad, because, like, I know it's coming, you know? What card did they steal from me? How did they have one of my cards? They discarded whatever it was. Oh, Cantarella, okay. Tech feels way closer than it is. Ah, oh, shit, I did that in the wrong order. Yeah, I can't, I can't risk that. Tag, damn it. Oh, 
Um, let's do this. So like, isn't one of these like play random? Hunter, yeah, I think Hunter is probably our best choice at this point. I don't know, I mean, you get like boost, damage. It's possible that you miss both of those ones with today's luck, it seems pretty likely. Why would you? Dude, I could very much have a poison. Like, I could, I could very much have a poison. Why would you do that? My stream goes to the side when it does that? So strange. Uh, very much probably is me. I don't know. I probably did something. Like, I, again, I haven't streamed in eight eternities. Come on, baby. Dang it, I was like hoping for the champion. Are. What are you? Oh, the boards. Missing a Nero, Blightmaker, and Shoop's Day Off feels, feels bad. Feels really bad. Especially after we played Snowdrop, and Roderick, and Morvran. We did get a Nero by the end of that, but... Well, the good news is, for your annoyance of having watched ads, you've made me uh, an entire uh, three cents. <laughs> uh, I know it doesn't make you feel better, and it certainly does not make me f feel better. Um, gun canes, but we won't want it till later. you wouldn't use crystal skull instead we're gonna get shellacked this game there's too much point out point value output like we'll be able to neuter this value quickly with a lock but well, I see so many people just jam lesh in here it's like the nicest things they said. Oh, that works.
I mean, he'll play a relic and then he'll be able to spawn another ver another copy, but he can't do it right now and then play the Gon Kane in between. Which is probably what he wants to do. I think we go for Hunter Shoop for Row Effect. You never know. We could get lucky. Uh, destroy random enemy would also work. Here we go. Frost is actually pretty solid. I would have preferred rain, but frost works. She'll go down to six. Get some more girth here. This is fun. I think he's up to twenty five now, though. They can just commit so much value so quickly. Like, yeah, I think we're just done here. I'm not gonna sit around and wait for a she who knows. Yeah, I mean, you just have to remove it, yeah. I mean, they're down two cards now, so it's kind of rough, but... And I pr have to pray I roll into my other lock. Ha! Rat catch restless at 10 is a... Oh, she's all the way up to 12. Never mind. I take you back. Oh, that's classic. Oh my gosh, I don't think they wanted that at all. I mean, if I had for a card, I'd feel more... Yes! Yes! Okay. Too bad you can't use the restore from... What's it called? Fucking Witch's Sabbath, dude. Yes. Please, 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 please. That's fine, we'll take it. Not the best, but like, reasonable answer to that. Which is Sabbath is super fun. I have a deck coming out with it. Um, totally reworked the, the, what Marcus said. Um. Yeah, we don't really have any answer to that. We could put Often and Mage Assassin back. But we have to do this first. Like, we're gonna get too owed, because there's just nothing I can do here. Though at this point, I don't know. I think you just pass? And this is like so much engine value, I don't know why you'd keep playing. It's like pretty good. 
double Kelly with Witch's Sabbath. That's true. I've seen a lot of people really digging on that lately. Such a weird, creepy ass card. Oh, what do we get? Oh, Nero. Do we have a special in hand? Not one that we want to play. Oh, shut up. Again, shut up. Cool. Ah, oh, cool, sweet. And we'll put back you. And we're back on top. Jeez, she tired. Uh, just to get the extra copies. Jeez. So much points. What can men do against such reckless hate? Oh my gosh. Okay, then we go for Roderick. We take the Onero onto the shoot. Just getting like brutalized. Destroying a random enemy is probably our best shot at this point. We could technically do this and sometimes get lucky. Uh, I think we go with the safe bet. Doesn't really matter what this is, we just cycle it back again. So we go for a car into. Oh, where'd they go? Oh, they're both on the board? It's not great. Aguara. Jeez. Of course we get Witch's Sabbath on our side. This is like literally worse for me. Nobody dies from it. This feels so bad. Like, I'm getting shellacked. Okay, we've seen a different special. Wow. Doesn't really matter what we do at this point. We just take the... Jeez. Well, we got brutalized. So in theory, we'd use the Renew and get the shoot back again, and we would have had it for a fourth time. But we have consistent triple shot. Hey, what's up, Vassal? Never met you before. Uh, Casino Lippy? No, this is, um, this is Quadruple Shuple. Let's try one more. We're, uh, we're trying to play Shoop four times with one deck. I do like Casino Lippy though. 
It is fun. We're having a good time. Uh, after this, I'm going to show you guys deck that I have coming out on Tuesday. I'll post my YouTube link one second in case you've never seen my YouTube. There you go. It still works. I haven't streamed in eons. But thanks for dropping by, my friend. What's, uh, you got a favorite faction? Favorite card? I'm always also open to challenges. Okay, we're just looking for Shoop here. I do keep getting Vesemir, which is my favorite. Olgierd? Oh, I have an idea for Olgierd. I know we kind of played it a few seasons ago. Um... When Hap Frua Singers first came out, I kind of want to do that. <laughs> Your favorite faction is whatever strongest in the meta. Soldiers! Oh, we love soldiers. Alright, well, we need to play Shoop anyway, so we'll just go for Weather Shoop here. Rain, 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 or Ragnarok. I'd take Ragnarok as well, or Skelga Storm. Okay, rain works. Yeah, had better. Nilfgaard Skelga with play. <laughs> yeah, that's a play of the game. Yeah, uh, Dragon Stream is a good classic. Love that with uh, uh, Nilfgaard or Skoyatel, uh, movement from back in the day. Okay. Um, he's gonna transform this Cantarella. Just don't really like want to give him the satisfaction, but if we play this here, then he can't. Just out of luck that he would play in ranged. Please don't kill the Cantrella. Okay, good. <laughs> uh, just trying to keep him from playing Veergriff. Or not the Veergriff, the... The one that replays the... The whatever they're called. So yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good move. You can here uh, use, uh, is it Ox? Yeah, I think it's Ox. And lock all of them, and then when they try to play the... Yeah, Dragon Stream would be boss right now. I think Dragon Stream counts as a weather effect, actually. So uh, sh the Shoe Hunter can actually play Dragon Stream. Uh, just consistency. The deck struggles with consistency. Um, one of these is soldier, right? Yeah. Bad luck, we only killed two of the coups. Uh, he only played one of them, because the first one was from Ramon, right? So, yeah. That's a weird tete-a-tete -tete period where nobody wants to play anything of value. Yeah, Aguara's in here because Aguara gives you the the chance to roll an extra shoop. So in theory, we can actually play five shoops with this deck. If you're really lucky. Or your opponent wants to shuffle it back for you. While most things on Great Dandelion Show are engineered with, uh, with other friendly troubadours... Yeah, I'll take this. I'll take that. 
clearly a swarm deck. <laughs> Gotta preserve that one point per turn point value. You never know what could happen. They seem to go back to Adrenaline 5. Adrenaline 4 is just too... too dire. Mr. Opponent, that's a lot of prov Yeah, weird to play the Joachim late, but I'm guessing the rest of the stuff... I'm guessing he has, like, two separate... trains for... how he gets... Swarm. Like, one is probably... The one we just saw, and the other one is likely Blightmakers. But we will see. Uh, for Cart and Snowdrop are the only things that I like, really care to have right now. So I'll put this back, put that back, okay. DMT. Dead Man's Tale? Oh, yeah, good point. I was literally, as I was making it, I was like, I feel like there's something that banishes cards. Yeah, Dead Man's Tongue, sorry, yeah. That's true. Problem is, we do carry a lot of, like, bronze specials, so for card gets value. But great point. And I actually save provisions by doing that too. But point also taken that the Witcher trio needs some love. Um, okay, let's go ahead and shuffle it back. Yeah, let's make that tweak right after this. I like that. That's an excellent suggestion, Vassal. Thank you. Um, at this point, probably, I don't know, I'll take the extra mulligan. Oh, go enjoy your lunch, Cross World. It's, it's uh, nighttime here. Um, uh, wait, where is it lunchtime? Like Japan? Don't care about him. You go back. Yes. It's kind of the only thing giving me angst. Nice! Yeah, I work for a Japanese company, so. Um, so, like, that's kind of ingrained in my head. Well, go enjoy your lunch. Drop by any time, man. It's great having you. By any time, I mean whenever I'm streaming. It's, like, first time in, like, six months. Yeah, absolutely. I'm more than happy to talk about it. I'd love to hear about what you do, too. Uh, yeah, just follow and you'll know next time. Uh, I also put my YouTube channel so you can... I much I do much more consistent YouTube stuff than Twitch. Um, he doesn't have anything down here, so let's just go ahead and get out the first shoot, and we'll go for boost. Hey, we got it. What do you even spawn from my graveyard? Pikeman? Okay, yeah. Should have seen that coming. That's on me. Is he a soldier? Nah, dang it. Um. Let's just lock him. 
I mean, you have to bond it here anyway, but... Illusionists are such fun. Uh, let's see what Aguara gives us. Man, a 10 for 7. I think I'm going to get rid of Aguara. We're going to get some provisions back with the Dead Man's Tongue suggestion from Vassal. Oh, that's sick! How have we not done that? I want that! Okay, well, now we can make this happen. Oh, wait, we want to renew a seer first. Is it limited to nine? Yeah. We're so screwed. And another one. It's pure genius! This is like a straight up genius play. I absolutely love it. Hats off, my good friend. Hats off. Okay, trash, 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 such trash. At least we can, like, confidently give these guys the drop and not worry about it. I'm actually going to keep them for now. And we'll put back ointment. That way we can use for cart to kill one of these. And I think we just do it now. That way we don't have to worry about it. Seriously? Let's see it for a cart, so that's good. Okay, now trio, then for cart. Kill off at least one of on. them. Oh my gosh. Good move. I'll get boosted here and then we can kill off that one. So I was expecting the boost to go there. It's gonna be like one, two, three, four, five. Does he boost him by one or two? I think he's two. And he plays for three. It's like a 13 point play. Yeah. Another one? Holy crap. Strange. Um, yeah, I think we kill him first. Uh, I genuinely don't know what to go for here. Like, destroy a random enemy, maybe? Lock, I mean, oh, lock would be good. Although at this point, it's really not that much value. They all do, like, one more each turn. No, often, huh? Yeah, it's like three damage. Uh, 
we need like one more mage. Nobody's doing anything. Kind of hanging in there. Ooh, I like the fur cart steel. Wait, who do you steal? Well, at least we're getting consistent triple shoot, so we proved that it can be done. The deck needs a lot of love, but in theory, you could get like uh, double resilience shoot in one round. Just figuring out how to get point value off of that, that seems to be troublesome. Oh, uh, these are both damage I want. So we'll go with the lower total value. Got absolutely brutalized. Man, that, um, uh, that operator was like his whole game. Had we not low rolled Cantarella. he would have been screwed. Oh well. Alright, thanks for watching, friends. Uh, those of you on Twitch will play one more of the game the, that's coming out for on Tuesday. Everybody else, good luck out there. Have some fun. Keep on quitting. Bye for now.